While LPD says this accident is still under investigation, but we do know that Hedrick had stopped her Ford Expedition to check on the connection between her car and a utility trailer. When inspecting, that's when an LPNL bucket truck collided with the Chevy Silverado and pushed it into the trailer, striking Hedrick. But Hedrick wasn't the only one hurt. For the expedition, we had three uh, other passengers. Uh, the pickup truck behind the trailer had another passenger, and of course, we had the driver of the LPNL truck. Lieutenant Mendoza says those other passengers and driver of the LPNL truck have mild to moderate injuries, and that investigating a crash like this one will take some time. Well, we don't get in a hurry, so it does take a while. You know, there's a lot of things to do, and especially now that we got three vehicles involved, uh, actually four if you can count the trailer. So it, it's it's, you know, it's going to be a lot of a lot of investigative work to do. In a statement, LPNL says they are working with police as they continue their investigation. We treat these accidents like we would any other accident. You know, we're going to look at all of that. All of that's going to be under investigation. And so we're going to just continue to dig and try to find out exactly what happened. LPD says Hedrick stopped her vehicle in the outside lane. Now they say they are unsure at this point why she chose to stop there, but are aware that Hedrick might not have had much of a choice. Well, it is illegal to stop in a, in a lane of traffic. However, sometimes there's not room for uh, you know anything else to do. So uh, in this case, it belongs to both sides. You know, not only does it person stop in there, but the person that's also traveling the same lane, they need to be aware of what's around them, what's ahead. Now, LPD says if you are having car troubles, do your best to pull off the road or onto a median, but they also say sometimes you can't control when your car breaks down, so always be aware of your surroundings if you do have to pull over.